In this ICT Basics video, I'm going to briefly discuss the new week opening gap. The new week opening gap is a gap that forms between the futures market closing at 1659 New York local time on a Friday and reopening at 1800 on Sunday. Now there are two forms of new week opening gap. There's the new week opening gap um, actual and the new week opening gap uh, electronic and that's just whether you're looking at the regular trading hours or you're looking at the electronic trading hours. For this discussion I'm just going to focus on uh, the electronic trading hours so that is a gap that forms in the marketplace between when the futures market closes at 1659 New York local time on a Friday and then reopens at 1800 New York local time on a Sunday. So the new week opening gap uh, is a liquidity void and it acts very similar to a volume imbalance or a fair value gap except it's a little bit more persistent. So what do I mean by that? Um, you use it in the same way that you would any other liquidity void or inefficiency in price. So what does that mean? It means that the new week opening gap is both a draw on liquidity meaning that it draws price down into it. It can also invert. So for example the same way that any other inefficiency can. Price can trade through it, find support, trade higher, or price can trade through it, trade back up to it, find resistance, and trade lower. Now how the price is going to use the new week opening gap is always dependent on the narrative in the same way that every other inefficiency is dependent on the narrative. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you, for example, are looking, like right now, I'm looking at these two sell side lows down at 43, uh, where's that low? 43.67 quarters. And I think that price is going to draw down into this sell side liquidity at some point. Then how does the new week opening gap affect that? Well, basically, I would expect the market to trade through it, trade back up to it, find resistance, and then come and attack the sell side. That's what I mean by narrative. And you have to have narrative. It's the start of everything. So no matter what PD array you're using, could be the new week opening gap, could be a fair value gap, could be an order block, could be a volume imbalance. It doesn't matter. You have to look at what the narrative is. Price is either drawing to uh, sell side or buy side liquidity or it's drawing to a higher time frame inefficiency. Okay, and sometimes you'll, you'll have both kind of in the same price area. So that's what I mean by narrative. The new week opening gap is a little bit different in my opinion from your other common gaps, your fair value gaps, uh, volume imbalances, liquidity voids, because the new week opening gap can be referenced for weeks weeks in advance. Could be referenced the same week, could be could be referenced, uh, Michael says, up to five weeks, meaning over a month later on. So it's something that's that price uh, can reference well into the future and you'll see that price will react off of the new week opening gap way into the future sometimes, like weeks, weeks beyond when it forms. Doesn't mean that I'm, al I'm always going to have it on my chart uh, weeks and weeks in advance, but it does mean that price can reference this this particular inefficiency, the new week opening gap, long into the future. So to recap what the new week opening gap is, it is the gap between Friday's futures close and Sunday's futures open and it, it operates like any other inefficiency. You have to have narrative, meaning that you have to you have to have an idea of like where price is drawing, where price's next objective is in order for it to work the way that you want it to work. Uh, but the difference with the new week opening gap and other inefficiencies is that you could see these price points be referenced well into the future, well into the future. So, okay guys, in this short IT, ICT Basics video, we covered the new week opening gap. I taught you how to identify it. I taught you that you still need to have a narrative for where price is going. You know, could be could be sell side liquidity, could be buy side liquidity, could be a higher time frame inefficiency like consequent encroachment of a wick, consequent encroachment of a wick, fair value gap, whatever you're looking at that you think price is going to draw to next, you use the new week opening gap as an entry PD array or a reference PD array or reference multiplier the same way that you would any other multiplier or PD array. Uh, you have to have narrative. You have to know or you have to be able to predict this is where I think the price is going to next. This is the this is the sell side liquidity, for example, that I think that price is going to go target next. That will inform you how price should use the new week opening gap in the same way that it should inform you how how price is going to use every other PD array. 
So, okay guys, in this video, we covered the new week opening gap. I hope that you found this information useful. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, give me some engagement on the video. Uh, again, guys, we cover the new week opening gap in this video. Bye-bye.